This is an improved infinite money glitch using any vendor in Baldur's Gate 3. First thing you're going to have to do is take your party and you're going to toggle the group so they are all separate and we're going to talk to a vendor. All right, you're here to need a weapon. I wish I had better. All right, so now that I'm at the vendor, I would like to make some money. So to make money appear out of nowhere, we're going to go into the barter menu and we're going to take every item essentially in this inventory. We're going to shift click it and we are going to drag this over to this NPC. As you can see, I just got a huge amount of gold and he didn't really spend much. Let's do it again. So I'm at 17,000. He's at 13,000. We'll highlight all of them. I'm at 17,000. He's at 17,000. Let's do this again the other way. I'm at 19,000. He's at 17,000. As you can see, this is infinite money. But to make it even faster and even better, why don't we take the money that's sitting in this merchant's inventory? You're going to need something that you can use as a container. I'm just going to use this pouch. So I'm going to open this pouch while on the character that is talking to the trader. So here's the pouch. And I'm going to go and throw the money in it. Now, the way we're going to get this money transferred is we are going to click the pouch and then we're going to press the F keys that take you to one of these other NPCs here. So for example, if you press F1, I go to my wizard here called meal kit deals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the pouch and then I'm going to press F1 and right after pressing F1, I am going to do another click on the pouch. This is basically trying to do a quick double click, but you have it preemptively halfway done, if that makes sense. So click F1, click, and if you do it right, you're going to see a take all option. If there is no take all option, you just weren't fast enough. So here we are, and we're going to take all. As you can see, nothing changed here, but now he is sitting at 36,000 gold. So if we want to keep going, we can take all of this. 2,800, go over here, 38,000, and we can just repeat this, and of course you make more faster, the better the stuff is you're selling, and you can repeat this forever, we'll do this again. Now, you might have an issue where it says take all, and when you click take all, nothing happens. Make sure before you take the money that this guy, whoever this is that you first talked to the merchant, has enough weight to actually take the money. So again, we'll do this here. We're going to open the pouch. We're going to drop the gold in. We're going to close it. We're going to click the pouch. F1, click the pouch. Have a lot on my mind. And we didn't do it fast enough because it doesn't say take all. We go back down. Didn't do it right. Times. All right. And now. we'll do it again. Sometimes you mess it up. Can't give up now. That time it messed up again. No one stopped me yet. And take all. Took all the money. Doesn't appear here, it appears back on this guy, and he's up to 50,000 gold. This really takes almost no time at all, and as you can see, you can very quickly just do this. The big thing is, make sure that this NPC has enough room to hold this gold, or you're going to see take all, and it's just not going to let you take anything.